Welcome back to OneStopTutorials.com. It's me, Ali Baba, back again. How you doing, everyone? Now, in the last tutorial, we got our library elements in. I added one more library element to this section. Uh, I was thinking about this section, but this is probably going to only be on the home page, so I don't really need to worry about it because it's just as easy coming in and editing this in the home page as it is coming in and editing it inside of the actual library. Okay, so that's this is what I have uh, done okay now we need to carry on moving forward and I just need to check this through one more thing and then we're gonna start joining some of the Google tools and start using them to help us um, find out who's coming to our website and where they're coming from and stuff like that so what you need to do is now you've actually added your library elements you'll notice that in the side here you have a folder called library and inside of there you have your three links inside of there called books bottom links and left nav or whatever you've called them okay what you want to do is you want to make sure you actually upload those as well so I'm gonna to go to my FTP and I'm gonna drag those I've actually done it already but let me just show you what you gotta do you gotta grab the library grab everything that's in here except for the template and upload it one more time I'm actually gonna just upload these two just going to upload them but make sure your library is up there because that's what makes everything work okay now what I want you to do is go to a it's called browserlab.adobe.com this is a really powerful tool to be able to see our uh, website in multiple browsers okay even though we've run a browser compatibility through Dreamweaver we still want to make sure that actually um, everything is okay in all browsers so simply go to that page once you get there, if you don't actually a member of this, it's free to join. Just simply join first. So try browser, uh, browser lab. Just simply join, and uh, it'll just fill out the form. It's like a basic form, and then you'll be able to log in. So you, once you log in, you go to sign in, and then you just stick in your username and password. Now it's not the fastest of programs in the world, but it's certainly going to actually show us what we need. I'm going to go to the test one here, the test button, and what I do is I'm going to stick that link in that I uploaded all my files to in my FTP, okay, which is onestoptutorials.com slash recipe slash index.html. I'm simply going to paste that in and I'm going to do, I'm going to click here to get it all working. Now I like to have open view to up view, okay, what this will do is it will allow me to see two different browsers in each section so I could be able to view it in Firefox on the left. I'll be able to view it in Internet Explorer on the right. Okay, so I'm just going to pause it for the time being because this takes a little bit of time because I live in Thailand internet. So um, I'll be back in a sec, guys and girls. Okay, so so far I've got Firefox and Chrome up. Okay, and what you do is you use these arrows here and you can choose the actual browser you want Internet Explorer 8, 7, 6, Firefox, Chrome, Safari. Okay, so at the moment some of them are still loading, but I just want to show you what it looks like. This is Firefox 2.0. And I'm going to make this Firefox 3.6. And what we do is we just check everything is sort of like in position, looking good, looking how we want it. Okay, there's our links. And this is absolutely powerful tool. I mean, you can check your website in multiple browsers by using this tool. It's an absolutely awesome tool. Okay, let's actually, what you can do now is we've got Firefox 2 here. Let's compare that to Chrome. Let's have a look what it looks like in Chrome. Again, it's all looking good it might change a little bit um, things might look a little bit different but everything's in place everything is aligned this box isn't mental it isn't out of the place okay let's carry on looking through some other browsers I guarantee that the browser that will call you cause you the most issue will be Internet Explorer 6 so here's Internet Explorer 6 let's have a look how we're looking and as you can see we're actually getting a problem in Internet Explorer 6 okay now this problem I would imagine or well, actually know is something to do with the hack that we put in earlier okay let me let me show you what I mean if we come back and go back to our code view you'll notice that we put this hack in okay now the area that's getting the problem is this area here this area here is the um, is the cake content area okay you got the cake content and then you got the P so what we could try doing is, is as we know it's an ID and it's called cake content I could come back up to this hack and I could stick that here okay so I could do a pound a hash sign it's called cake underscore content okay P that's the I'm actually homing in on the exact problem area okay so what I'm gonna do is gonna control s that I'm then gonna quickly upload that page again to see how we're getting on where is it index 
okay if this is all you have to do I mean some of these areas I actually know what the problems are but if you're not sure what the problems are just send me an email or go to um, the Adobe section that I showed you before and it will actually tell you maybe what's going on so let's come back into Adobe browser and let's do a uh, refresh and I think it's actually still loading I think we gotta wait okay everything looks like it's okay okay I'm gonna click in here and can I hit enter why wouldn't it let me okay it's gonna do it again so it's gonna refresh it again and remember when we had that problem in Internet Explorer 6 we'll wait and see if this has fixed the problem and hopefully it has okay and I'm just gonna have a quick look as we've changed stuff I've got Safari 4.0 on the left I've got Chrome 3.0 on the right I'm just making sure that since we changed that hack it actually hasn't changed it to any of the other ones messed it all up made it look really bad nope everything's looking good the AdSense at the top yep the buttons in okay and let's have a look at uh, still waiting for it to load let's have a look at Internet Explorer 8 because that one's done everything looks good the text is wrapped around okay so the hack hasn't messed up Internet Explorer 8 this is really good practice to get into is checking your pages uh, in a tool like this especially browser lab because browser lab is so powerful that you can view it in so many different browsers it's really really good to get into the habit of actually doing this Internet Explorer 6 we're still waiting there it is it's come through now let me click on Internet Explorer 6 and as you can see hopefully the text is wrapped around fine so everything is pretty much looking good we're in Internet Explorer 8 we're in Internet Explorer uh, 6 uh, we could wait for Internet Explorer 7 but generally if it's okay in 8 and 6 it means it will be okay in 7 so watch out for Internet Explorer 6 guys and girls that is one of the browsers and people still do use it people are still using Internet Explorer 6 they don't think well it's an old browser nobody's using it they do so it's good idea to get into building web design that it suits as many browsers as it possibly can so it actually shows up in all browsers so we've done great first we did a browser compatibility in Dreamweaver so we checked that everything was okay with that we then validated our CSS and we validated our HTML to check our code is 100 percent clean everything was okay we then come to a tool like browser lab which allowed us to check it in multiple browsers and everything is okay this is the way to build website get in the habit I know it seems long-winded and I know it's like well you know I want to build my next page but what's the point in building your next page and your next page and your next page if your first page isn't correct well, you know you're going to be duplicating your errors on multiple pages this in the long run even though it seems to take a little bit longer is the best way to build websites because you can now safely know that your website is clean your website doesn't matter what uh, browser your customers use in your website's going to look good you don't have to worry about any of the problems because you've been through these simple stages of making everything look good and it's going to save you so much time and effort trust me since I started getting into this discipline of building websites this way websites become a lot easier and you look more respectable when errors and stuff aren't being uh, shown so in the next tutorial we're going to come into some Google tools we're going to start with a uh, Google Analytics we're going to set up a new account we're going to have to set up a new email address or you can use your email address if you've got one I've already set one up under my email address so I'm going to open up a new email address uh, we're going to do Google Analytics because Google Analytics is going to give us a code that we're going to add to our pages and we'll be able to track every page on who's coming to that page, how long they're on that page and um, things like that. So take it easy guys and girls, be back very soon. Please do not forget to send me your links of all the work that you've done. I'm doing a, uh, a video on the 10th of August. I want to promote you guys and girls for free. So send me your links, send me your work. Whatever you've done via One Stop Tutorials, send it to me and I will promote you guys and girls for free. Take it easy, everyone. Catch you at the next One Stop Tutorial.